Hi, my name is Barbara Balcom, Barbara D at Guarantee RV. I'm out here today to show you a Jayco 212. This is a 21 foot trailer in the box, about 25 feet overall. This is a neat little unit. So I'm going to start right here at the front and tell you a little bit about it. First of all, first of all, we have an electric tongue jack. So this is a 3500 power jack that goes up and down, so it's easier to get on and off the ball. It's got two large uh, propane tanks underneath here with an automatic switchover, which is super handy for you so you're not getting out in the middle of the night and trying to do that. Some diamond plate, but most of all what I want to show you is we're going to go right up here. This is a Rocky Mountain Edition. So there's a difference in a plain Jayco and a Rocky Mountain Edition, and this is part of it. If you come down here, you're going to see that you have a double axle and it's a raised axle. So this is something that you can take over to the coast or you can take up into the mountains and have the clearance that you need. Take it elk hunting or deer hunting or going up into Cascade Lakes where you're, you're gonna be up in the mountains a bit. Jayco has been building for a number of years. It is a, a well-respected name and they have put a lot of features on this. So one of those features is it has a holding tank flushing system for your black water. It has an outside shower, so hot and cold running water. Again, I want to feature these really nice beefy tires. They're Wranglers. You've got a lot of clearance there. It's a 30 amp service, so when you get plugged into a standard campsite, it's, you're going to marry up with your electricity. Folks, when you're out looking for a campsite, you really want to try to be in that under 30 feet because that's what most of the campgrounds have, especially if you're going to go into the state or the county parks. So something to keep in mind, it's a good length, it's got a lot of clearance, it's a neat rig. Come on around here to the back. A lot of times RVs do not have a ladder on them and it's nice to be able to get up and inspect the roof and just, or if you want to store something up there. All LED lighting, a spare tire, a back window. So I'm going to take you around the front and we'll see what's on the other side. Right off the top what I want to show you is this it's nice to have a grab handle to grab a hold of a few things when you're hauling because it seems as though you're always taking something in or out of the travel trailer so again this is a jayco j flight 212 qbw super nice rig it's got a thermal package which means that the underbelly is enclosed and heated when the furnace is running three steps the grab handle but the pleasure is on the inside come on in so you have this terrific living area. You have a sofa where you can sit down and relax. You have, an out, you have a window that you can open, cross ventilation, a dedicated dinette. This will make down into a bed. This little sofa will make down into a bed. Got an entertainment system here. A lot of times folks will tell me, you know what, I have to turn my head to watch the TV. Well, in this particular trailer, you're going to be sitting right here and the television is going to be right up there. So you can enjoy a movie or the news. Not a lot of people are watching the TV when they're camping, but when you do want to watch the TV, it's pretty handy to be able to see it without turning your head and getting a kink in your neck. And as we go back here, I want to show you that you have a Norcold refrigerator. This is a good size refrigerator here. And I'm a fan of Norcold because they have a concave freezer. In the event that you were to leave something in the freezer, unplug the trailer, you're not going to have a mess coming down the front of the refrigerator. They're made in Elkhart, Indiana. But look at the size of that. Really a nice shape. You've got a great pantry here. And that's a big thing in a small trailer. You're looking for storage, storage, storage. So there's storage under here. There's storage on each side of this settee. All of these cabinets up here. You get a nice oven, a range top, a microwave, great big sink. All of this in just a 21 foot trailer. So a deck of drawers. Here's the bathroom. Check that out. So in this bath, you've got a nice basin. You've got a shower and tub. A porcelain toilet so I want to point that out again this is a porcelain toilet so that's a lot easier for you to maintain and keep clean they have a special stain resistant slip resistant cold crack resistant mildew resistant floor this is special flooring that's designed for the RV industry and then at, at last but not least 
a very nice, elegant bedroom, which also offers an opportunity for a television. But it's, a ni it's nice that you don't have to break it down and set it up. You're in a 21 foot trailer that you can take anywhere. There is some storage underneath this bed as well. Quite a bit of storage. And what I like about this are these gas shocks. So this unit can be towed pretty easily. I'm going to give you a weight on it because that's important to make sure that you have the right weight. But this is a, a Jayco J Flight 212 QBW. We'll take a look at the weight. It, you know, the proof is in the pudding. Come on out here and take a look at it. Lay down on the couch, sit down in the bathroom, sit down on the couch and see what you think about it. Thank you for talking with me today. My name is Barbara D. Balcom. Call me, ask me a couple of questions. I'm at 541-521-4232. I want to help you.